Hi and welcome to the CS Bracket in AutoCAD isometric tutorial. So today we're going to draw the CS Bracket in an isometric view. The first thing you need to do is you need to familiarize yourself with the isoplane settings in AutoCAD. Then you make sure that you keep the same measurements that you know you have on your CS Bracket and then you reincorporate them within this isometric drawing. So the first thing that you should do is start off with a simple uh, isometric small box just for the base. We won't worry about the ellipses um, at this point, but we will make sure that we leave space for them and we make sure that we start from the ends and we measure out how far it needs to go down. Now the circle will start about 32 mils in from the sides and right now I'm just cutting off and putting the points for where the circle needs to go. You can draw these lines to help set up the rest of the drawing, but you will have to worry about your snapping tools. If something isn't snapping properly, then you either need to turn off the snap or you need to turn it on to make sure that it fits how you want. Then we're going to complete the rest of the shape. So now the shape goes up and it goes up about 64 mils. All right, and then it's got like an angle that will go down as well. So. Once we complete our box, it is then time to complete our ellipse. Now the size of our, our ellipse needs to be 32. Now when we're using the ellipse tool, we need to make sure that we hit I for isoplane and we need to make sure that we are in the right plane. So either the top, you know, the left, the right, and if we're not in the right plane, then it's just not going to work out. We then need to do the same for the bottom of the, the base. And an easy way to do this is to find the midway point from the bottom of the base, half it, and then go down 32 and then redraw that uh, ellipse again. And then pretty much all you are doing is repeating that process on the other side. We will need to use the trim tool to trim away bits and pieces that we don't need. Now sometimes the trim tool can be a little bit frustrating if you are not selecting the correct pieces. But, you know, um, as a rule of guide, the things that you want to trim away, you should really select the opposing lines um, so that you can trim away what you need to uh, trim. If trim is not working for you and you, you've got just one line, you know, just uh, sitting there, you can always just uh, click on it and press delete. Now, to do the, the two small ellipses uh, that go in the front of the object, Again, it's the same process. I will find out where I need to put that ellipse. I would, you know, mark up, you know, my, um, uh, I would mark up how much space I need to, to give it. And then once I know the actual center point of the ellipse, it's really not hard to actually go and, uh, and use the ellipse tool to create the ellipse. So the final two ellipses that we need to do are on the other side of this drawing. Now, again, it's the same principle. I would have the box, at the bottom and I would also make sure that it's all boxed off at the top then all I have to do is go down 32 from the top and the bottom and make sure that that is where I'm starting my ellipse from so here's the final ellipse and I just need to trim away the bits and pieces that I don't need anyways guys there is your drawing thanks for watching